I have another couple ones on my phone here. If you'll just give me a minute. Oh yeah, I, I like I like all these questions. Um, hope you had a fun Valentine's Day. Not sure if you do have a Valentine or if you are like me. I still have fun. Celebrate with friends, enjoy a nice dinner, dessert, chocolates, flowers, etc. Which brings me to my question, do I really need a Valentine? Am I missing out? Am I not open to the idea of having someone in my life? Am I a weirdo? <laughs> Please heal if necessary. If not, no worries. Thank you. Uh, what I really like about this is it addresses the invalidation that comes up every Valentine's Day. And, and that can be if you have a partner and you have expectations of that partner and the partner doesn't come through, or if you don't have a partner and your, your expectations of wanting a partner but not having one. So this is a really great request. I'm going to take a look at this. Of course, a lot of the energy is stuck in the second chakra, which is in your abdomen, and that is your sexual and emotional chakra. So there's there's some sorrow coming out and whining. And, you know, that invalidation comes from a picture that's out there that has to do with coupling. And that that is, um, I'm trying to think of how to articulate this. The picture is, is there's something wrong with you if you're not coupled. And there isn't anything wrong with you. You may just have different goals. You might, as a spirit, not be interested in that, or you might be in a phase in between partners, but there's a lot of energy on that picture that you are supposed to be coupled with someone. There's a big chunk of junk, <laughs> a chunk of junk coming out of your heart chakra. It, it looks like a hockey puck. Ah, and also some jealousy coming out. So, you know, what's great about the person that asked this question is the explanation of what they actually did on Valentine's Day and, and how that actually was like a win-win but the energy of invalidation came in and tried to destroy that. So I'm going to clean out some destroy energy.
And to the person that asked this question, your Valentine's face is this beautiful peachy gold. It's so pretty. So thank you. I'm going to fill everybody in with gold. And what was really cool about filling everybody in with gold is I saw immediately everybody has their own picture of Valentine's Day, but their own picture that validates them. So immediately, instead of everybody being crunched into trying to figure out why this one picture doesn't work for them, everybody started creating, oh, okay, I can have my freedom. I can have this. I can have joy. I can have laughter. I can have whatever I want on Valentine's Day. It doesn't have to be this picture that our society um, holds up as being as being the norm. Oops. Okay. 